In this lesson, we'll take a look at the key differences between frames and groups in Figma. Both can help bring order to your canvas, but frames are way more powerful than groups. Because of that, some people use frames exclusively and don't use groups at all. It's pretty common to create a frame as one of your first design tasks in a new file. And what kind of frame you create is really up to you depending on what type of project you're designing. So let's say we're designing a little website and we want to design a desktop sized frame. We can go to the toolbar, select the frame tool, or we can hit the F key. As a side note, I personally never click any of these tool icons in the toolbar as it is a million times faster to memorize and use a handful of the built-in quick keys. They're pretty intuitive, but I'll mention them each time they're used. So hit F and you can see that the properties panel has updated to show relevant information related to creating a new frame. We can choose any of these predetermined frame sizes or we can click and draw our own frame on the canvas. Frames can be added, removed, changed, and even created from existing design elements at any time. So it's not like a frame is some precious object that can't be modified once 